YouTube, it's Miss Fashion My World here and I decided to make a new video because I got a haircut. Uh, I went to get a haircut yesterday because I got tired of just, uh, I don't know, my hair was just boring to me so I was like, ah, maybe I'll just go and get it cut. I didn't really have an idea of how I wanted it cut but I knew I wanted it short <laughs> so I don't really have to do anything to it. And, uh, yeah, so I went to the salon, which most of you know that I'm in Germany and probably 99% of the uh, salons are Caucasian salons. So it was a Caucasian salon or someone that specialized in Caucasian hair. Uh, but I felt a little bit more at ease than when I go to the ones that supposedly specialize in African hair, the uh, African salons, because they usually fry my hair cut it crazy they just like really like tear it up they're not really about care it's all about in and out because they have somewhat of a high volume so it's all about over processing the hell out of your hair or whatever so uh i went in yesterday and just told her to just cut the bang short since you know with the military thing i can't have the bangs like past my eyebrows anyways and every time i cut them they always grow back so i told her to cut them short above my eyebrows and just like have it a little bit tapered so I saw like a book I'll show you the book uh, at the salon that I went to and it was something like this so I said yeah basically like that but just shorter in the front and basically I have a little bowl cut or a mushroom cut or whatever it's called nowadays a crop I don't know but I absolutely love it it's easy it's simple and I can like do a lot of stuff to it I can wear it this way straight or I can like part it or I can spike it a little bit, you know, or I can wear it wet and just scrunch it to make it a little bit curly looking. So I'm really, really, really liking this haircut. I hated it at the salon because, you know, I say a lot of them, a lot of black people, we tend to like our styles a little bit more sleek and flat. Like we want volume, but we want it a little bit more sleek. And a lot of Caucasian people, they like to put like a lot of, you know, like as I would say the older ones hair they like to like put a lot of volume in the hair she's like teasing my hair on the top and I was like I basically I came out looking like a real like mushroom she teased the front and I was like oh my god and she's like can I put a little bit of gel on it I was like uh uh you can't put no gel on it I was like just leave it the way you did it. when I go home I'll fix it but overall it was pretty it was a good experience and I'm happy with the uh end results yeah Imagine, I said a couple of weeks ago I was gonna grow my hair out and yeah, once again, I cut it. So yeah, I guess that's the end of the whole growing out thing. Um, yeah, I wanted to show you guys all my uh, winter jacket as well. I got it like a, probably a month or two ago, but hey, I haven't really been making videos and since I'm in the mood, I might as well show. So. This is my winter jacket. I hope this, I have enough room in my microscopic bedroom to step back and show you guys. Let me try to fix my... And it zips up and snaps. It has these like large buttons on them. Oh, let me try to do this fast. I'm not trying to make a long video. And let me undo the belt. And the belt also has these snaps on them, but I like to tie the belt because I like to have like that illusion of a smaller waist than I have. So I usually just tie it and then snap it. Well, I usually don't tie it this tight, but it's kind of crazy. But... Oops. Usually a little bit tighter, but yeah. And this is the jacket. Let me sit down so you guys can see the neck piece. You can also remove the fur if you want to, but I like the added flare with the fur. And the hood. It's pretty cool. You can also stuff the neck piece down, but I'm not going to do that right now. But it's really, really 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 nice and warm I really love it and I like that it's longer because I have lots of short jackets and sometimes in the winter you need a little bit you know more than something up to here because then you're like freezing or whatever 
Plus when it's snowing and the snow is like blowing towards you and it's like wetting you up or whatever. But yeah, I really, really, really like this jacket. And also I'll show you guys a couple of other things that I bought. I should just call this a haul, mini haul. But most of the stuff I've purchased like a while ago within the last couple of months, but I'm not going to show you guys too much. Just some shoes. So I bought these shoes. They're like really cheap. I got them like a little cheap store. Uh, they're like, you know, the whole sneaker boot thing that's really in. I like they have a zipper so I could just like slide my feet in, zip it up and go. They're really, really cute with skinny jeans. I like really, really like these. And they're like, the heels aren't that high and there's rubber on the bottom so you're not gonna fall on your face trying to walk in them. I saw some other ones that I really wanted on uh, Bloomingdale's but yeah, I couldn't get myself to buy those just because it was like, ah, oh, I don't think I'm gonna be able to walk in those. And then I bought these suede pumps at Zara. I like really, really like these. Just for like more so we're going out wearing like a nice dress. They're not that comfortable as with most Zara shoes, <laughs> but they're really cute, so. I also bought some Ugg Baileys. I always buy Uggs for the winter. I wanted the gray ones, well, I think last year, and I was like, oh, I'll just wait till next year. So I just bought them this year. They're really, really comfortable, as with most Ugg boots. But these actually, they don't run as big as the regular classic ones, because usually you size down. I did size down, but there isn't like as much moving room. I, I, but they don't really, I don't think they make half sizes, so you'll just have to deal with it. I also purchased, oh, these are kind of dusty looking. These clog boots, I bought them at uh, Bloomingdale's. I believe they're a Lucky brand. They're really, really comfortable and super cute. You know, the clog look is in right now. I love the buckles. It's really, really, really nice. These are like more so my dress down uh, boots. Really comfortable, easy heel. And probably have some more but I don't know I also repurchased a pair of classic Uggs because that's what I do every year <laughs> and I got these casual leather boots they like go almost up to like under the knee well on me I'm five nine so it goes on up to under like my knee area and it's really really soft soft leather kind of like that Chloe leather if you have a Chloe bag you would know it's like really 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 soft I love it and these are just like kick around boots, like go take my kids to school, pick them up, type things, don't care what happens to them because I can just clean them off really easy. And I purchased a good amount of clothing, oh, but yeah, I really uh, don't have the time to show what I bought. So the next time when I do have the time, I'll make a little haul video and show you guys some of the items I picked up. One thing that I really love is uh, love during the winter is corduroys, and I got me some uh, seven for all mankind corduroy boot cut pants and I really 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 love those but um yeah I really think I should do an outfit of the day because I'm like really not dressed for that it's just like really casual because uh, I'm about to go head over to my uh, base where I do my training for the reserves so until next time guys see you later peace